doing with y'all? Securities bring six nine over here, huh? Weirdos. What y'all trying to give me lock? Weirdo. What y'all weirdos want to give me? Weirdo. Up, you clown. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so it looks like there's still a lot going on with this Takashi 69 Meek Mill, and Wack 100 situation. And specifically with Meek Mill and Wack 100. It looks like they're both in the booth. They said, forget it, man. The street's been talking and they about to air it out in the studio, man. It looks like Meek Mill even has his track already ready and queued up. And Wack 100 looks like he's about to go to war as well and hit the studio. Yes, Wack 100 hitting the studio. Now, before I get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Meek Mill, Wack 100 a little bit, all right? Now, Wack 100 is not known for his rapping abilities. He's a business exec. He's a music exec. And he's known for being the manager of major acts in the game, like The Game, Ray J, and, and uh, Blueface, man. He's recently linked up with Cash Money and had a whole thing where he was running called Cash Money West. I don't know if that was dissolved or whatever, but it might still be in place. I know he looks up to Birdman. They work in conjunction and produce artists and whatnot. But it looks like Wack 100 is fed up of all these rappers talking all this mess about this situation, and he's eventually going to have to get into the booth. Now, I have never heard Wack 100 rap before. I never even knew Wack 100 would even hit the studio, man. But he dropped this on his social media page and basically said this, man. He, he dropped this video, and it has no music to it, right? And then he put this caption out right here. This was put out last night, and he said this specifically. He said, single dropping in the morning, hashtag rat attack the cat, produced by hashtag Swiss cheese, video credit at the real outlaw. So it looks like he's going to be dropping a video as well, man. Or maybe he's even giving credit to whoever filmed that video of him in there tearing up the booth. Now, Wack 100 looks like he got a lot to get off his chest. A lot of people have been talking, so we're going to see what this track ends up being. Now, in all reality, I don't think he's even dropping the track. I think he's just doing some trolling and showing us how fake a lot of this stuff really is, man. Because Wack 100 getting in the booth sounds a little bit ridiculous. Now, I could be wrong. Wack 100 could have been secretly hiding some amazing rap skills that we don't know about. And he's in the booth about to tear it up and drop the illest track on Meek Mill's head. But man, I, I really doubt that. I heavily doubt that. And something that brought me back to the fact that, man, remember that all this is fake, man. All this is made up. These cats are playing into narratives that so that they want the fans to catch on to and hopefully pick up. And most of this stuff is bogus, man. And a clip that'll remind you of that is the old clip from this weekend where Meek Mill and his security are talking to Takashi 6 9 security. And you have to put this into context. Think about this. Takashi 6 9 is sitting in the car and his security is still outside waiting to make room so the vehicle can leave. Think about that, man. How fake is that? Think about this, too. You showed up with an offensive line to basically block for you while you jump around in the background with your phone out and camera out and just yell stuff like Pooh Shiesty lyrics, man. Come on, man. If that isn't some WWE fake stuff, that's no better than the dude who wants somebody to hold him back every time he's about to get into a fight. You know, it's almost the same thing, but on a bigger scale and even bigger, you know, uh, odds are at this situation. You know what I mean? But, man, let me show y'all this clip. What y'all charities bring 6 9 over here, huh? Weirdo. What y'all trying to give me lock? Weirdo. What y'all weirdos want to give me Weirdo. Weirdo. you clown? Y'all even bring that clown over here. What the f is wrong with y'all? What y'all in trouble? What y'all fight? What y'all trying to get me in trouble? Oh, y'all What's wrong with y'all? Now that you've seen that clip again, and I know that everybody's seen that before, think about this, man. Your security is outside. If you really, really wanted to funk, 
you could easily just jump out your car and say, hey, man, let's get it. You know what I mean? It's not that situation, man. This is so fake and so planned. It's ridiculous. And a lot of people are really biting the apple on this one. And I was buying into it a little bit, man. Just a little bit. Thought it was, some of it was real. But, man, most of this situation, except for, man, maybe Meek Mill's reactions and his security team being surprised and all that, that's real. But everything after that, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to chalk it up to entertainment until something proves otherwise. And when I see WAC 100 was dropping a track or alluding to the fact that he was dropping a track, is when I was like, okay, I'm really done with this situation because this is corny. This is real corny. Now, Meek Mill has also taken to social media and dro dropped a track. See here, this was straight from his social media page. And basically, he was just showing that he was flexing. I can't play the music for obvious reasons, man, because you know that's copyrighted and all that. But in that clip, man, Meek Mill was basically displaying a new track where he was talking about a rat this and that. And... This is some real WWE stuff. And Meek Mill, man, I think he failed to realize that he got sucked back into a situation that he was actually winning. You know, everybody, when they were not paying any attention to 6 9 and they kept him off the radar, people weren't, blogs weren't even saying his name. I wasn't even saying his name. Nobody was talking about him. They were winning. When Meek Mill went dark on social media, not dark, but when he cut back his social media engagement, he was winning, you know? But as soon as he let himself get sucked back into this and placate to it, now he's in a situation where people are actually big up in the cat that nobody respects in the rap game. You know what I mean? It's a weird situation. It's a rather precarious situation, I'll say, man. But from this point on, it looks like, man, Meek Mill maybe might have learned a lesson. And hopefully, man, he cuts down on responding to this because from the outside looking in, all this mess looks corny. I mean, come on, man. Let's be for real. You're dropping a diss track about somebody that nobody really even cared about up until he ran into you and created this whole media stunt. Man, just leave it alone and just ignore him, man. The best thing you could do with 6 9 is ignore him because that's all you need to do with trolls. And people have a hard time doing that. And I know I'm sort of like a hypocrite because I'm talking about it as well. But, man, it seems like a lesson that folks need to put out there. To be fair, I don't want to diss on Meek like he's he's not smart or whatever, but he, because he didn't ask for this situation, I have to be I have to be for real. He was surprised and pulled into the situation. He made a good move, I think, initially after he was he was approached. But I think everything after that, with all the social media stuff playing into it, he probably could have left that alone. Now, keeping those videos like the one in his security pulling up on the other dude's security, that's cool. I understand that. That makes sense. But everything after that, the days after that, eh, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing my mark on this. What do you guys think? Is Meek Mill playing this correctly by engaging with WAC 100 and Takashi 69 on social media? Or should he just, man, leave the whole situation alone and put it in the past and ignore trolls because he's the one who's got something to lose? Now, I that was heavily in, in the favor of Meek Mill's position, what I just said there. But, man, I think that is a realistic question in this scenario, man. Now, with that, this being your boy, Big Man, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.